Happy New Year, everybody! Trevor here, and welcome to a brand new mini review. I was originally going to do a top 5 video as my first video for 2024, but ever since January 1st of this year, I thought I'd do a mini review on the classic 1928 Disney short Steamboat Willie, since it's now in the public domain. When I first learned about this on the news, my reaction was, IN YOUR FACE, DISNEY! MICKEY MOUSE IS OURS NOW! <laughs> anyway, this is the second time I did a mini review on a Disney animated short, the first one being Once Upon a Studio from last year, which I thought was spot on. Now, what do I think of this cartoon? Well, let's find out. It starts off with a nice full view of the Steamboat Willie itself, then we cut to my most favorite part of the short where Mickey whistles the traditional Steamboat Willie theme known as Steamboat Bill. Ah yes, music to my ears. Then Pete, the captain of the boat, arrives to take advantage of our hero. What did he say? Anyway, after that incident, a parrot starts teasing Mickey after falling down the stairs. Yeah, serves him right. Then we cut to Pete again, eating some chewing tobacco, which is not healthy. Now that's funny. Then the steamboat stops at Put Up Landing to pick up cargo and livestock. I don't know about you, but I kinda like the bit where Mickey has trouble with the harness, so to solve the problem, he fattens the cow with some hay, which did the trick. And here's our first scene with Minnie Mouse, who was running late for the boat trip. Now here's my first problem with this short. When the hook grabs her by the underwear, he lifts her onto the boat, which makes me rather uncomfortable, because not only is this womanizing, but I consider it sexual and bestial. Hell, I'm an animal lover, and I hate bestiality! Upon landing, Minnie accidentally drops her ukulele and some sheet music for the song, Turkey in the Straw, towards a goat, who ate it all. So how do they solve this? That's right, by making the goat into a phonograph. And this leads to the worst part of the short, the animal cruelty scenes. I'll let these scenes speak for themselves.
as an animal lover myself, I will not tolerate animal cruelty in any way, shape, or form. Every time I see an animal getting abused, I get emotionally upset. I know this cartoon was made at a different time, but come on! You don't have to take advantage of these creatures like that. Animals have feelings, you know. Thankfully, Pete finally comes down and puts Mickey to work peeling potatoes. Then we get one more spotlight for the parrot who says this line again. And again, Mickey teaches him a lesson by throwing a half-peeled potato at him. Then the mouse starts laughing like a maniacal freak, thus ending the short. Now it's time for my final thoughts. Overall, while this short is a product of its time, and I'll give it credit for being the very first sound cartoon in all of history, but the only things I hate about this short are the bloomers incident with Minnie Mouse, as well as the animal cruelty scenes where Mickey treats them as musical instruments. However, it does have some funny moments, particularly with Pete and the parrot. I also want to give credit to the wonderful people who did their best into putting effort into the animation, voices, and gags of the short, including Walt Disney and Ub Iwerks. But my most favorite moment will always be the very beginning with Mickey Mouse whistling while steering the steamboat. And because of these reasons alone, I'm giving this short a 6 out of 10 stars because as I said, it's a product of its time, and to be frank, I've seen much better Mickey Mouse shorts like those from the 30s, 40s, and 50s where they don't always rely on cruelty. Still, Steamboat Willie is a true iconic classic since it revolutionizes the animation industry with sound and voice acting. Now let me know your thoughts down below on what you guys think of this classic Disney short. Do you like it, hate it, or think it's meh? Here's hoping that we will get more Disney shorts in the public domain soon because I would love to do more mini-reviews on some of them. After all, Disney has gotten what they deserve for being a corrupt corporation these days thanks to idiots like Bob Iger. This is Trevor Davis signing off and saying, Happy New Year everyone, and I'll see you all in my next video.